September is Suicide Prevention Month, and the issue has never been more in the forefront than right now. The pandemic has changed the way people think about suicide and the rate it's happening. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now with why we're seeing more people die by suicide in an easy way that you can actually be a part of the solution. That's an exciting part to this equation. Absolutely. And really, can you even think of a time that we've ever seen more famous examples of suicide than right now? And the demographic for who is suicidal may be shifting. While teens definitely feel comfortable reaching out for help online, middle aged men are suffering more with a disease that can be highly impulsive. In Houston, teens and young adults die by suicide at the highest rates, according to the Harris Center for Mental Health and IDD. But Dr. James Flowers said there is a growing at-risk group. The highest number of suicide in adults is between the age of 40 and 51, and they're white males. And we've seen a lot of that lately. Over the weekend, the Bed Bath & Beyond CFO took his own life. A few months ago, Naomi Judd, and just last month, former Texans president Jamie Roots. Flowers said high-functioning depression can deceive family and friends who are normally the ones to notice warning signs. We need to look for just the slightest symptoms of depression or anxiety or avoidance or withdrawing from, from social activities or work activities and understand that sometimes we can be high functioning and also be suicidal. According to the National Crisis Text Line 741741, the most common issues people text about are depression, sadness, relationships. The fastest growing issues are loneliness, eating disorders, grief, and suicide. The reason for these may be blamed on the pandemic, but the encouragement to get help has also created a lack of access to a provider because there simply aren't enough. Flowers said now is the time to pool together and sincerely talk to one another just asking how's your day going and when you get a response that not is not quite normal or, or typical of their former responses is ask a little bit more is there something I can do to help out today just feel free to be able to talk to your friends co-workers family and ask for help now, right now, there's also a big effort to increase wellness with things like yoga, meditation and exercise. And these things have a tremendous benefit on your mental health. But Flowers said it's just one aspect of your wellness. If you are depressed or suicidal, you probably need more than just exercise to really heal your situation. Keith.